that's true because like I compare my hairline to everybody's and it make me depressed. Huh? it's your girl goldie and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and join the family i do a lot of lock content and if you're interested in that then you will love it here so don't forget to join the fam by hitting that red little button down below if you guys aren't new you guys are part of the family thank you guys so much for coming back it means i need to calm down when i do these intros anyways if you guys aren't new thank you guys so much for coming back it means so much to me like more than you guys even know so yeah as you guys read in today's title we're gonna be talking about the things that you should never do to your locks now i have a little list in front of me so we're not going to waste no time i have a few things in this list so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in the first thing that you should never do with your locks is use wax or petroleum based products those are products like hair waxes to retwist your locks or you know things like that things that are petroleum based to like retwist i know it's a lot of products for retwisting that involve like waxes and petroleum and you don't want to use anything like that that will cause nothing but build up into your locks and you know your hair doesn't absorb wax you know your hair doesn't absorb petroleum it just sits on top and you don't want anything that's just gonna sit on top of your hair and even when you wash your hair it's hard to get all those products out because they're not water-based you want to use water-based products on your hair and not anything really thick and of a different base. The next thing not to do with your locks is to compare your locks to someone else's and compare your journey to someone else's journey. This is your journey. This is your specific hair journey. And when you sit there, you compare it to other people. I understand using people for inspiration. That's like not wrong at all. I have inspo and I'm pretty sure you guys have inspo. Some of you guys have even told me that I'm your inspo and that means so much to me. You guys don't even understand. Like it's crazy to even think like I'm inspiring other people. But aside from that, inspiration is okay as long as you are not expecting yourself to reach that person's level or that love I mean that person's journey because at the end of the day it is your own and it can cause you to daddy I'm filming a video me no maybe another time tomorrow you want to ask for something you want to ask me for something I can't do YouTube. I can't do YouTube. Just YouTube. Yeah. So what you doing down there? Reading off my stuff in my video. I like your background. Thank Man. you. I'm a gray hair. Gray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up? I got more of my beard. What's up, YouTube? Yo. You know how we do. Come on, what we talking about? Oh my goodness. Talk to me. What's up? I'm missing the background. YouTube, holler at me, boys and girls. So what's up? Anyways. What's today's topic? Makeup? Things you should never do to Eyelashes. your locks. Things you should never do to your locks. Oh. Anyways, like I was saying. Don't cut them. Like I was saying. Right. Don't compare your journey to someone else's because it'll lead you to hating your journey. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. That's true because like I compare my hairline to everybody's and it make me depressed. Don't compare to nobody. You live your best life. Don't compare your hairline your dress, nobody. Be you. Go ahead, Jack. My bad. Go ahead, what you got? <laughs> What's next? The next thing that you don't want to do to your locks is to retwist your locks on dry hair. You want to make sure that your hair is moisturized because it can cause your hair to break off when you're putting those products onto dry hair. So you want to make sure that it's damp. And like I use a little spray bottle just to spray my roots. You don't have to make sure that the ends of your hair is damp, but just mm, just your roots. Yeah, I had dreads. I think that's you why my dreads came locks. out. I had locks. You had locks? That's what you tried to put in your hair. They were twists. But they was locked at the end. Remember you they said were locked. locked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like this now. Because I did it with dry hair. And I did it. And then my hair fell out. Mm -hmm. See, it's good. I came on this journey. <laughs> Go ahead. What else next? What do you got? The next thing that you don't want to do is bleach your hair without a moisture routine. A lot of people say don't mm. bleach at all. But as you guys can see, I bleach <clears> my hair. And I bleach it often. Like my roots when they grow out but it's important that you have a moisture routine if it's important that you have a moisture routine if you're going to bleach your hair because bleached hair is prone to breakage a lot more than virgin hair so you want to make sure that you already already have a routine what virgin hair yeah like your hair is virgin hair y'all ain't talking about virgin <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't like that oh my god 
Anyways, yeah, so if you guys don't have a moisturization routine prior to bleaching your hair, it's gonna be hard to keep up with it when you don't have yourself already in a routine. The next thing that you don't want Hold to- Hold on, if you're gonna have a, give a, what's the solution? What's some solutions that they could use? If you're gonna give them a problem, give them a solution to the problem. I already posted that video today. So you gave them the moisturizing tip? Yeah. How to moisturize? Yeah, did back that in the today. day, Back in the day, we used to use like chemo oil, and we used to do the scalp. Ooh, my dad, or oh, we used to use blue magic grease. My mother was famous though for using or um, uh, 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 sofa eight. All right, you need me? They, I got business to it. I'll be back, y'all. Good night. My dad, everyone, didn't know that he was gonna stay in for that long. Anyways, like I was saying though, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh yeah. The next thing that you don't want to do with your locks is style them too often and maintain them too often because that can cause your hair to thin and cause it to break. When you're doing your hair in like super tight styles, especially like this, like for example, this style, I would take it out at night. I would not leave my hair like this just because you don't want to keep your hair in manipulated styles for too, too long. Cause like I said, it'll cause breakage, it'll cause thinning and you don't want that with your locks. The next thing that you do not want to do when it comes to your locks is change your maintenance routine. Like, don't change the way that you maintain your hair. For example, like if you're going to palm roll, then palm roll. If you're going to interlock, then interlock. If you're going to crochet, then crochet. But do not keep switching back and forth between methods because that can make your hair thin. It can make your hair break. And you're going to be able to see the different ways that you maintain your hair throughout your lock. And that's just going to look ugly. Like, it just is. Like, even if you want to switch, switch and then stick to it. But don't keep going back and forth because it's not good for your hair. And your hair is going to show you that it's not good for your hair. The next thing that you want to do is make sure that your hair is drying properly. If your hair is not drying properly, then it is going to have mold and build up and just mildew and it's going to stink and it's just not going to be good at all. Like make sure that you're drying your hair properly. If you have really thick hair, invest in like a hooded dryer or one of those little caps that you can put the blow dryer in and dry your hair. That helps too. But if you can air dry your hair and let it fully air dry, then cool. And also don't wash your hair and then leave it in an updo or something because the middle of your hair is not going to dry. The next big thing that you do not want to do is trim your frizz if your hair is frizzy either leave it be or take a little bit of whatever you use to retwist your hair and palm roll it and tame that frizz do not trim your frizz it can cause your locks to thin wherever you trim your hair you don't know what that is connected to and when you are when you trim your frizz you hurt your locks the next thing that you don't want to do is not wrap your locks up. I talk about this all the time on my channel. If you guys aren't new here, then you know what I'm about to say. Wrap your locks up with something satin or something silk and make sure that you are keeping your hair wrapped up at all times. If you are laying down, if you're sleeping, whatever it is, make sure that your hair is wrapped up. If not, it will be dry. It will be crunchy. It will be brittle. It's just not going to be good. Sleep with something satin or silk on your head or sleep with satin or silk pillowcases, things like that. The next big, big thing that you should not do with your locks is use products that you would normally use on your loose hair on your locked hair things like pomades things like certain leave-in conditioners things like um creams like hair creams and stuff like that just stay away from that stuff y'all you don't need it and it's going to cause build up build up build up build up you do not want lock build up at all it is going to be the worst to deal with and you just want to stay away from it you want to keep your locks as clean as possible with little to no product and when i say little to no product i mean like store chemical product like things that you don't really know what you're putting into your hair i like to use natural products that i make myself that's just me personally or natural oils when it comes to my hair i don't like to use store-bought products on my hair just because i don't really know what i'm putting in and which means that i don't know what i'm going to be trying to get out in the near future that was it for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed i hope that you guys learned something from it if you guys did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up i hope you guys enjoyed my dad i did not know that he was going to come in during the video but hopefully he was some entertainment because i know that he entertained me if you guys want to see more of him let me know though because he would love that <laughs> don't forget to follow me on my instagram which will be in the beginning the end in the description box of today's video and i will see you guys next time bye guys Hi.